So we'll start with this uh, live talk show with uh, Bob and Bobby. I'm extremely grateful to introduce uh, them. We are lucky enough to have them here. Uh, Bob and Bobby is uh, are their home names, but uh, Shushrata and Shashwato Mukherjee, also known as Bob and Bobby, are with us live today. They are animators, illustrators, filmmakers. I I would say they are wizards in the art they do. So let's welcome Bob and Bobby, and we'll hear it from them who they are, what they do, and what are they passionate in. So let's welcome them. Hey, hello. Hi, hi. What's up? How are you guys? We are good. We are good. We are doing great. I mean, thank you for having us in this session. Oh, uh, thank you for coming on this live session with us, uh, Bob and Pleasure. Bobby. So you guys are from Calcutta. You guys have been, you know, doing this uh, illustrations and you know. uh animations for so long so i'm just going to give a small taste of what you guys do i'm going to share a screen and i'm going to show some of your works which uh, i really love i'm going to show that to the uh, viewers over here so as you can see so uh, can you just tell us the story about this uh, photo you guys made okay uh so uh this was actually a tribute to irfan khan and you know shotojit rai so uh yes yes i mean we were you know devastated after the passing of irfan khan and i know uh, we all were actually because uh, he his acting and his approach to his uh, the art actually moved us so much and uh, and everything from the day back in probably 2018 when he was diagnosed with uh, you know cancer from that very moment we were uh, it it was so upsetting and uh, and the day he passed actually you know it was heartbreaking for his fans and every cinema lover for that instance so uh, so you know we kind of uh, find solace in our uh, imaginations and uh, this thing came as a reaction to that uh, like uh, so we have grown up uh, reading and watching films of shotojit rai and he has been a major major influence uh, in our art and absolutely uh, and so was irfan khan actually uh, i mean um, uh, even though we were uh, introduced to his works uh, pretty much later in our uh, career or life yeah. uh, but uh, so this one uh, was a you know direct reaction to that where we were thinking that in the probably other side he has met you know shotoy is right and <laughs> what it would look like if they were you know working on something together lovely lovely absolute this is this, this is one of my favorites this is another one this was this is a satire you guys are very good in satire right thank you, you so much satirical photos this is varnal lele covid when you kill more than seven like world but still don't take you seriously absolutely yeah. like no comment this this photo speaks for itself <laughs> yeah yeah and then i think this photo you guys made uh, as a tribute to the uh, prime minister of uh, new zealand right new zealand yes right. yes yes and uh, they surpassed covid and there were zero cases in the country absolutely absolutely yeah other than matlab uh, her approach was actually very different from many world leaders that we know and you yeah. know there was this uh, common perception that new zealand has a uh, less number of people so that's why she succeeded we we solely believe that there are such you know to make use of what we have to uh, yeah. make it an advantage that is also a skill that you know uh, most other leaders don't do i mean she has made the right use of the resources she had and the uh, advantage she had so that was you know really so, correct great. so this is a small taste of this wonderful photos and illustrations which you guys do so the first question i want to ask you how did you guys like both the brothers in the same profession how did that come along uh you may call it coincidence or not uh, but we have been uh, you know we have very similar interest uh, in everything that we have done because uh, you know growing up together or uh, consuming the same art or the environment uh, together it kind of right. influenced our uh, taste and we uh, <clears throat> developed very similar in- interests there was this uh, entrance test in uh, st javier's that we apply i mean that we appeared for and uh, fortunately we cracked it and you know got it was for uh, multimedia and animation mm-hmm. something uh, that we you know enjoyed doing and uh, then again there yeah. again you know the difference was less and we had very similar marks and we got into it 
and uh, after that things have uh, been pretty okay for us in terms of you know working or experiencing things together like in our we have uh, we mm. ended up in the same job and we quit it at the same time together and then we started pursuing uh, you know what we loved doing and what we were passionate about so uh, when did you guys think of you know starting doing film making like what was that uh, one moment what was your uh, inspiration of getting into film making with your art uh we were always you know uh, interested uh, in telling stories and uh, there were two mediums that we would explore before uh, before college those were like illustrations and comics we used to write our own comics uh, in class 5 or uh, before that pokemon comics hum log banate the apna story the <coughs> to uh, after that oh. uh, yeah in college uh, there was uh, this assignment in uh, animation and we we were always fascinated by films uh, so in animation uh, we made an animated film and you know to see something that you have imagined come alive and moving in front of you is a different feeling altogether i mean static images also attracts mm. us but that was something totally i mean something else altogether uh, so that and then we made uh, some live action films as well to see things moving in front of you whatever you have imagined in your head head uh, you know uh, in in this uh, on the screen uh, that attracted us a lot and you know that's where we felt that you know this is the this is probably the uh, you know the closest you can get to your imagination so i mean to uh, to get your imagination for the world to see uh, so that's why for the you know to see, yes. yeah, yeah that's when we you know you know Please. discovered our passion we believe so as you discovered your passion for filmmaking recently you guys directed a very it, it's a wonderful song and that name of the song is mask ho gaya which is written by mr vishal bhardwaj and sung by mr vishal dadlani i saw mm-hmm. your post where you guys said that in, during when the heather heather film came you guys were so inspired by that song aao yeah. na right by and these two duos had done it so yeah, yeah yeah i am extremely happy to see your name on that credit list okay directed by bob and bobby can you tell us your short journey about how did mask ho gaya happened with Mr. Vishal Bhardwaj and Mr. Vishal Dadlani. How did that happen? Uh, so, so basically, uh, you know, uh, we are into political cartooning. I mean, it's something that we uh, enjoy doing, and which is also uh, right now at this moment, uh, it's kind of a necessity for us. So, uh, and we have ways. We have we explore different ways of expressing it. and uh, we have different approach uh, to that so that way we made a very small uh, animated uh, short uh, in instagram and uploaded it on instagram so and uh, pretty fortunately uh, you know uh, vishal bhagwat sir team came across it and uh, you know uh, he saw it as well and he loved it and uh, then he got in touch with us you know saying that uh, he had okay. made a song which had a similar mood to our animation uh, and uh, he wanted us to make work on it and he wanted to collaborate with us so firstly uh, it it was a very surreal experience uh, you know considering that we have been uh, fanboying this filmmaker for the past 6 7 years and we I mean, even made a music video as a college assignment that yes, had yes. you know uh, that had the same duo as the uh, uh, singer and composer yeah and it was a, a very okay. uh, very amateur uh, approach to it yeah. but uh, but still we were uh, you know always an admirer of his works and his uh, you know approach to the uh, to uh, to his films and the way he uh, included and incorporated the political scenario that is uh, around in the country be it you know uh, omkara or matru ki bijli ka mandola or heather for instance so we were we were a fan right. of his work and you know getting an opportunity to uh, be a part of a song like that that he had written it was it, we had never imagined it in our even in our wildest dreams and also because uh, he is not really active in social media 
so after that happened yeah. and he gave the song to us and uh, we uh, uh, send a, a synopsis of a, of our first exploration which he loved but we all agreed that uh, it was a bit dark and a uh, direct considering the mood of the song so uh, so we reworked on it and then we the uh, we pitched a concept uh, which uh, uh, which was uh, you know we uh, he asked us to go ahead with so uh, yeah after that happened and you know we started working on it and we worked pretty tire matlab uh, tirelessly and we since we enjoyed the process it didn't feel like uh, pretty hard tough so it was around the song was completed we animated the vid- the song was completed uh, before we started working on it and uh, we completed the video in what, in uh, one and a half months I yeah guess. one and a half one and a half two months yeah two months and then <clears throat> so Guys, guys, let's see the video. Like, let's let's see the first two minutes of the song. Mask hoga. I would like to love to share that with uh, everyone. And let's see what Bob and Bobby, like those who don't know or those who haven't seen the sh- song, let's show it to them. you guys can ch- check this song out on youtube mast ho guys is directed by bob and bobby ka written by mr vishal bhardwaj composed by him and sung by mr vishal dilani so let's come to the you know that how is passion so important to follow bob and bobby like you guys have been you know tried for engineering colleges couldn't get into try into a lot of different courses you couldn't couldn't get and then somehow you got into animation and multimedia and now this is just a small step you know this is the first skip, the stepping stone towards what you guys want to do so how mm-hmm. would you what would you like to tell the younger generation about following their passion how important is that uh you know the first step is uh discovering the passion you know finding your uh, love for something yeah. and if you have discovered your passion i think you know whatever happens you know the passion takes you to places and once you discover it half of the job is done i guess uh, cuz you know we discovered our passion uh, you know a long time back you know at an early age and uh, what and is that early that, so uh, we were toddlers uh, so our brother uh, shatrudru <laughs> you know he uh, he he drew a shaktiman and we were fascinated by it and we tried to draw our uh, own shaktiman after that and there was no stopping after that we were sketching all over the place like oh, bathroom walls electricity bills everywhere uh, our sketches would be everywhere uh, so and we would uh, we would uh, read stories by shotoy dry and would write our own stories imitating him at that uh, stage and would uh, you know make illustrations uh, adjacent il- illustrations to our stories as well uh, so we we discovered our passion for telling stories uh long back and after that you know thankfully yeah yeah we scored poorly in uh, joint entrance and then it was it was more channeled that way uh, after that uh, so uh, if you discover your passion and you know love uh, you know f- fall in love with creating or whatever you're doing that could be anything uh 
I think that's the start of uh, something good. And if you keep at it and you know enjoy what you're doing, everything follows after a point of time. And I also, I mean, uh, I'll take this opportunity to you know really appreciate what you are doing, you know, and your page, the playbook is doing because it's it's very important and it's very crucial for you know people. Uh, for children and youth to understand their passion and 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 their, th- and their parents as well cuz yeah <clears throat> you know we i mean uh, thankfully uh, we uh, we feel that the scene is changing right now cuz uh, to for people like you and their uh, endeavors uh, so like so peop- i mean uh, so that parents can uh, realize that you know art is an option as well like uh, just like engineering and uh, medical doctors engineers and uh, doctors you know uh, kids can be artists too and in, i mean they must be allowed to follow their passion when they discover it yeah, that could be anything yeah and when we were growing up we you know we didn't have anything uh, a medium or you know or someone uh, with an uh, or someone you know guiding us through it exactly like what can be done and you know considering what you're doing you're choosing to actually you know encourage uh, the young minds to you know follow their passion it's, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely it's about awareness you know uh, making making uh, making them know about the opportunities which are available in whatever art form you follow is great so thank you so much bob and bobby for this lovely conversation and you guys are inspiration to a lot of illustrators a lot of uh, cartoonists a lot of Uh, you know people who want to you know showcase their talent and with these stories okay so there are a few uh, people who are just commenting i'm just going to show those comments on the screen purna bosle is saying inspirational talk indeed yes ma'am it was thank so you nice thank to you, hear your chat uh, megna berry says hi harsh mendru hi i bob we're good to see your collaborations more power to you of course more power to you know bob and bobby doing such lovely work So thank you, thank, thank you so you much are. for coming in, Bob and Bobby. Thank you so much. It's thank lovely, you, lovely you. conversation. Same here. Bye bye. Same here. It was our pleasure. Pleasure. Take care. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.